Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect up a PlayStation 3 controller to your Windows machine wired and wirelessly so you can use it on the PC SX2 emulator to play PlayStation 2 games. Okay, so first of all I'm going to show you the controller. I've got a original PlayStation 3 controller right here and it has been modified but that modifications you know are just aesthetic and yeah it could be a DualShock controller it could be an older one that is fine so what you will need is a mini USB cable you can use the one that came with it or maybe one with an older like Android phone or just from somewhere else you probably got one of these lying around and let me show you something if I plug this in this will start flashing it is a charging and if I go to game I'll go to set up USB game controllers and it hasn't actually appeared there, strange. Okay, it hasn't appeared there. That's actually not required for this. What I'm going to show you, if it does appear, then you go to the properties. It doesn't detect any of the keys. So the fact that it doesn't appear there doesn't actually matter. If it, it is just something I want to show you. Because what we want to do is essentially make this as if it was an Xbox controller. And Xbox controllers work really well with Windows, because you know Windows is from Microsoft, Xbox is from Microsoft, so it's literally plug and play. If we make this like an Xbox controller, it'll be plug and play then. So to do that, we need a, a piece of software called SCP Toolkit. I'll provide a link to this, so we can go or you can Google it and go to the Source Forge link, and then click download. Just download the latest version. After a few seconds, the download will start, like so. I've already got it downloaded right here. So it's downloaded too. So I, I just, you know, I use the one that is, that is literally just installed. Make sure your controller is plugged in. So open that up. Um, let's take a few seconds. Feel free to put this in a different folder. I'm going to leave it as default. I'm going to go to next and from here you want to select this Bluetooth pair utility and everything else unless you really know that you need something like the gamepad analyzer or anything else you can just leave go to install and just click yes okay so once this has installed we'll have the SCP toolkit which will allow us to actually configure our controller so it's actually one so ignore all this stuff for now. So you just want to click run driver installer. If you need to reaccess that you can get it from the desktop or go to SCP let me show you toolkit and go to driver installer. That's the main one that we'll be using. And if you are doing it with a PS4 controller feel free to select that I'm not so I'm deselecting it and if you this is grayed out if you're on Windows 7 or older you need to select this install Xbox 360 controller driver it's built in in the new one so you don't need to worry about it but if you're on Windows 7 or older make sure you select that go to install Bluetooth driver so if you want to use this wirelessly you need Bluetooth built in or using a dongle and you need to open this and select your Bluetooth dongle. I know it's this one. You might be thinking, how do you figure it out, especially when it's something obscure like that? What you do is go to device manager. And obviously, you know, with your Bluetooth dongle plugged in, if it is, you know, a dongle, let's say. Um, strange, the Bluetooth should appear here. Let me go. Let me just unplug it and replug it. Okay, so do, 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 that's, um, that's strange that he hasn't actually. Let's go to scan for hardware changes. Just one second. Okay, so close this down. And. <laughs> For here and there, just my dog is sleeping, making noises. It seems very tired. Okay, so yeah, Bluetooth is gonna appear in here, 
and honestly it's not appearing because let me uninstall all of this I did have it installed from before so that's what's going to be conflicting it okay only install is complete let's go to as you can see blue ignore that that's just you know happening on my machine it's just because I installed something else or something else ignore that so Bluetooth has appeared so as you can see you just need to find you know the device that you've got mine is a Broadcom chipset ignore this other stuff this is other devices I've connected and that's the basically the model number right there and if I go back to SCP toolkit and we select that you want to go to install DualShock 3 driver then you want to go to DualShock 3 and select your controller this literally will just be PlayStation 3 controller so that's a lot easier now go to install driver or just install okay so just wait patiently if anything pops up like anything red saying error that's fine sometimes that does happen but you should be all good to go so just wait for this to you know fully install this really should be flashing for you just it's not because i've already got it installed from before plus i've just installed the driver now but it will be flashing then you'll go solid like this to indicate that it's connected you know and assigned it as you know player one controller one and if you don't want to use it wirelessly with bluetooth then you can literally omit this little checkbox so let me you know close all this down okay so now we can actually disconnect this so if we go to game controllers now as you can see it's appeared there go to properties if i start moving all this stuff around it is detecting all of the keys which is fantastic so yeah if you want to connect this up wirelessly all you do is disconnect and it's detected it and it's on it, it is connected wirelessly now so you can either have it plugged in wire or wirelessly so i'll just leave the wire disconnected if you know you don't have bluetooth or you want to plug it in wired then make sure you know you, you leave the cable connected okay so now what i want to do is just essentially set this up let me move the cable out of the way i want to set this up in pcsx2 so go to pcsx2 go to config controllers plugin settings go to pad one and let me move this over here and clear all you can assign it to pad two as well if you want but i'm only doing pad one now let's assign the button so square triangle x circle now let's do start and select so start select let's do up down left and right up down left and right let's do l1 and l2 let's do r1 and r2 R3 is the right analog stick clicked in. And I think you can guess what L3 is. It's just the left analog stick clicked in. Now we need to do the analog stick movement. So up, left, right, and down. Now, no same for right analog stick. Let's position it a little better. Up, left, right, and down. And that's it. So the analog button we can assign to this right here. I already know what that's selected. Okay, so it would appear. I'll just assign it to Z. I'll, I'll delete that. So it would appear it won't let me use this. So if you really need the analog button, you'll have to assign it to somewhere on the keyboard. And you know, feel free to modify this. Feel free to change the sensitivity. You know, on some of the keys, you can change the sensitivity because some of them are force, you know, sensitive. And feel free to mess around with the force feedback as well. But I'm all done. Click apply okay and now let's just launch a game i've got tekken 4 selected i'm going to go to fast boot uh, press slot to select i've just turned the volume down as you can see it is working i'm going to go to random 
you might notice some of the lines that are appearing you can ignore them they shouldn't appear for you as a result of what you're doing in this video i've just been messing around with some shader stuff and they're appearing and i just haven't fixed it for a while so you can ignore that but as you can see it is all set up now and i'm just getting my ass kicked and now i'm gonna kick his ass Ooh. nope get back oh yeah beat him on the easy setting no, medium i think it was i'll beat him one more time Ooh, almost had a perfect then poor can be a bit rough sometimes yes okay so there we go that is how you connect your ps3 controller up to your let me pause this so I'll press escape up to your windows machine so you can play it on the pcsx2 emulator for playstation 2 games and i showed you the wide option you would just leave that plugged in and you would go to pcsx2 you know the config the controller plugin settings and modify you know the key mappings or wirelessly with a bluetooth dongle so that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.